here are my top 10 tips uh, to reduce mosquito bites. Uh, right now I'm in Southeast Asia, but as you know, malaria and dengue are all over the world. I've been living in, in malaria and dengue locations on and off since about 2007. I was born in the U.S., but I only visit the U.S. now. Um, these are these tips I'm sharing with you may have saved uh, me from malaria and dengue for about 13 years now so far. Many of the retired cheap places I recommend have had malaria or dengue outbreaks at one time or another. Check the CDC website and other sources uh, from time to time to see if they have current outbreaks. Uh, stay out of high risk areas during the rainy season if possible. You must keep a perspective though. Uh, do not live in fear, but do be smart. Uh, not every mosquito has dengue or malaria. Uh, Chung Hoi uh, has lived in Southeast Asia for 35 years and has never gotten malaria or dengue. Between us, my, my 13, we've uh, been bitten hundreds of times by mosquitoes, if not thousands, and neither of us has ever caught malaria or dengue. By the same token, um, these uh, tips will merely um, lower your chances of getting bitten by mosquitoes. Uh, this, they'll not guarantee uh, that you'll not get bitten by mosquitoes or um, that, you, that you won't get malaria or dengue. Even if you follow all the directions, you could still get malaria or dengue. Furthermore, even if, even if you get malaria or dengue, many people do not die from it. I've met many people that have survived both malaria um, and other people that have survived dengue. Uh, I do not know anyone that has died from either. Um, that said, you should avoid mosquito bites. There, uh, here are my top tips, uh, but don't write anything. Um, at the end of this video, I'll tell you how to get uh, a copy of this in writing, so you don't need to write. You don't need to take notes. Um, okay, number one, a portable mosquito net. Um, place it over your bed at night. Uh, they have let us on buses, flights, and ferries carrying this mosquito net. Uh, keep the packaging sheet so they can see what is inside. Uh, they always ask at airports what it is because it looks funny. They've never said we, we couldn't take it on any of our uh, flights uh, after 20 countries so far. Let me show it to you. Okay, this is our mosquito net right here. As you can see, it's it's like a tent. It does There's no attachments to the roof. It's self-contained. It has um, four. It has this these little me bendable metal uh, rods that you fold up, and it each of the rods just cuts into a corner of the bed like that. There's a zipper to get in and out, and it folds up like one of those tents you see into this. You just fold it in a semicircle. It looks like this. It fits in this, and this is what we carried in. Uh, as you can see, there's a piece of paper on the front that shows a picture of what it looks like. Sometimes the uh, the tr the travel safety people want, oh, what is this thing? And you show them the picture and it calms them down. But like I said, we put it through x-ray machines and we've uh, in airports and they've let us carry it on buses in you know, 20 countries we never had it taken away from us. So um, it's... Um, I recommend this one because there's no there's no tax or attachments to the ceiling. Totally self-contained. You can even set it on the floor, and these these things sit on the floor. And there's like a a base that stops the mosquitoes from getting in on the base. So that's the number one thing you can do. Okay, the reason that's number one is it uh, the the net over your bed is that's usually when you're going to get bit by a mosquito at night when you're sleeping because you're laying still and the mosquito can get to you. Um, so that's number one. Number two is big, uh, bug spray. You just always carry around a little backpack like this, real small. You put in your sunblock, you put in your bug spray, um, and you put in some water. And no matter, whenever you leave the house, you have that with you. First sign of a mosquito, you find the open areas on your skin and just spray it on there. Or if it's a lotion, just rub it on there, your back, your neck, or whatever and those will keep the mosquitoes off you. Um, the more mosquitoes are, the more you need to rely on a heavier duty one. Uh, the one that the uh, FDA has approved, it's called DEET. This, not this brand, but the, the poison's called D-E-E-T, DEET. And that's the most effective one. Um, there are more holistic ones that aren't supposed to be, they're supposed to be safer for you. You can, you can try those in very light areas. I often use those, um, but I also carry a heavy duty one like this in case I get caught somewhere where there's a lot of mosquitoes. That's number two. Number three is air conditioning. Mosquitoes do not like 
cold weather. They're less active, they're less likely to come into a room that is cooler. So if you, um, if you keep it cooler in the room where you're sleeping at night, that helps. Um, I don't personally use AC all the time, but since I have this net, I'm fine. But if you're stuck somewhere without a net, you definitely want to put the AC on, even if you're um, having to wear a blanket. Okay, next up are these, these anti-dengue, they're electrical, you put them in sockets in your house during the day when you're at home or whatever. Uh, as I say, dengue bites during the day, and these are and, and these repel uh, dengue. There's different kinds of them. Some of them have these little blue slip-in uh, pads that work for a couple of days, and then they have other ones that are liquid, and these are replaceable. And then when you're outside, um, they have these circular things, you light one in and it burns, and it repels uh, mosquitoes away at night. So it's like you put it under your table if you're outside on your patio at night, enjoying a dinner or something. Okay, the next thing that really helps is if if, um, if you're inside and you're warm, maybe you don't have the AC on and you're starting to sweat, you're starting to get a little stinky. If you take a shower, a cool shower and soap your body up and rinse it, the mosquitoes are less likely to be able to find you. Especially if, if, you're, the, if you're the cleanest one in the room, they don't, the smell of soap kind of, it's not as uh, easy for them to find you as, as it is if you're sweaty a little bit dirty. You wanna stay in places that have screens. Sometimes you'll be somewhere that doesn't have a screen on a window or a door, um, but you want to open the door. Some people travel with a, cl a cloth-like material that's almost like a screen. It's almost like the, the netting for a mosquito over your bed. It's just rolled up in a, in a um, and they just unroll it, maybe tack or tape it to the door, and so they'll have like just a screen kind of hanging there over doors and that kind of thing. So humans breathe, uh, out carbon monoxide and that's actually what attracts a mosquito so to the extent you see places like this where you have uh, open areas where your breath can go out a door like this just slide a rug up against it or whatever get a couple of them or a towel or whatever then there's less likely to let the mosquito in if you're finding any value here if you could please like subscribe comment or share this your act of kindness would help us grow our business thanks so much okay these next you are for people that are going to high concentration mosquito areas. You want to travel with long white pants and a long sleeve white shirt. Therefore, less of your skin is showing for the mosquito to bite directly. Um, and at least pack it with you. And if you end up in one of those spots, you have it to put it on. The reason they're white is because you can see the mosquito and you can kill it if it lands on you. Also, mosquitoes are attracted to darker colors, like this black thing right here. A mosquito could be sitting on it. I wouldn't even know it because I wouldn't be able to see it. Number eight is the those goofy hats you see people wearing that have the almost like a beekeeper's hat, um, but they have those for mosquitoes too. You can find them in any like outdoorsy shop in the U.S. There'll be a hat and like a, a little screen that comes down over it. Number nine is permethrin spray. It's like a spray you buy in an outdoorsy shop and you spray it on your clothes and it's, it's sort of a mosquito repellent. And so there are larger mosquitoes that can get through your, get through a layer of clothing and bite you right through your clothes. And that's what that's to, meant to prohibit. During the building of the Panama Canal, they noticed that the officers were not getting um, malaria as much as the workers. And they, they figured out it was because of the tonic water. There's an ingredient in tonic water that repels mosquitoes. Um, so, tonic water, if you uh, drink some of that every day, it's supposed to help repel mosquitoes. Uh, for number 11, talk to your doctor. There are a number of uh, drugs suggested by the CDC in Atlanta that help reduce the possibility of either getting uh, malarials or dengue, also reduce the severity of the symptoms if you do catch it. Uh, there's a link provided to the CDC here on the webpage. I talked it over with my health care provider at the time I was moving to uh, India for a two-year contract, and I felt the symptoms of taking the drug and uh, would be uh, more of a risk uh, than the likelihood of me getting uh, malaria at the part of India that I was going in, and so I didn't take any of these drugs. So that's something you should discuss with your doctor. Um, I promised uh, to give you a list of, the, uh, of these. Uh, to get a list of the, uh, this items 1 through 11, um, just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video uh, to get top 10 tips to reduce mosquitoes in paradise. And click the more information link uh, below this YouTube video and that will take you to the webpage and you can get it printed out if you like. 
If you'd like to find out how I was able to fire my boss and travel the world uh, to 65 countries in 13 years, click the free ebook uh, link at the top of Vagabond Buddha. Uh, at Vagabond Buddha, you also find over 50 reports that uh, will teach you how to um, retire early for cheap in paradise. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Thanks for watching.